What should we expect from the Microsoft Build Developer Conference starting on May 7th, 2018? Today I'll tell you, stay tuned. First up is going to be Windows. Why not? Windows 10 is still the major focus for Microsoft and Build is where they get to share it all with its developer teams and community. So what should we expect? Definitely sets will be one of the big features to show off. So if you're on the Windows Insider program already and on skip ahead, you know what sets are. And if you've seen Zach Bowden's videos, you've probably already seen it in action. Sets are gonna be continued to be developed through RS5, which will come out in the fall 2018. We expect Microsoft to detail more about this feature as well as future plans for it. Related to that will be Cloud Clipboard. So this is another feature along with Timeline that was shown off in the past. Timeline is now here with Redstone 4, also known as the April 2018 updates. And what Cloud Clipboard is, well, it's the idea of copying and pasting something and saving it to the cloud so you can open it on other devices. Initially, we expect this to happen on cross Windows 10 devices, matching timeline, but eventually it should roll out to Android and iOS as well. Hopefully Microsoft will show that feature off as again, it should be a very productive feature coming for the fall update, which I should say is rumored to be called the productivity update. We'll have to wait and see if Microsoft sticks with that name. Some other changes with Windows 10 expect to be focused around the taskbar, start menu, and Cortana. Action Center is gonna get a little bit of revamp too, and I wouldn't be surprised if they show off a little bit about that. Cortana seems to be a little bit devalued in this Redstone 4 release, that is, you don't get the timeline feature anymore with your cards and everything else that you've been following. But some of those features are expected to return in Redstone 5 and beyond, as Cortana is now weaved deeper in the OS as more of a functional AI versus a card system that you just go to to catch up on the latest news. Next up is the Fluent Design System. So at Microsoft Build 2017, Microsoft detailed Fluent Design. That is the new UI aesthetic that is coming to Windows 10. We've seen a lot of it come in Redstone 4, including Edge and a lot in the Start menu. A lot of this has to do with the acrylic look, the see-through abilities in apps that developers have an option to. Now, what we expect in 2018, well, Fluent Design is a system, that is, and it's an evolving one. So we do have acrylic as a material, but Microsoft has always said materials as in plural. So we should expect different colors, different designs, different material options, including possibly wood and other things coming as well. Microsoft should also announce other APIs and development tools to allow developers to create new apps and designs around this. We also wouldn't be surprised if we see the next version of Microsoft Office feature Fluent Design, as well as Microsoft's other core apps and services. Next up is Windows Mixed Reality. So we've had this feature for a little while now, but it's still very much in its infancy. So Microsoft should be announcing new features, designs, and directions for this platform. Some of that includes maybe a new focus on gaming, which has always seemed like the low hanging fruit for Windows Mixed Reality. Other features may revolve around social. One of the things I've always found interesting about Windows Mixed Reality is the potential for social interaction. That is, talking to people long distance. We've seen some social VR stuff coming from Microsoft in the past, but it's not quite public yet. For instance, one feature we know that is coming that should be announced soon will be the ability to share your own virtual reality home. That is what is called Cliff's House now. We should see different versions of that and the ability to invite your friends over to hang out with you virtually. I think that would really make the whole platform a lot more interesting and interactive for people. And we should see some more information come from Microsoft at Build. Next up is the Universal Windows Platform, or UWP. After all, this is a developer conference and Microsoft needs to talk about that. For some of you, you think Microsoft should get rid of UWP or it's already dead. Sorry, neither one of those is a choice for Microsoft at this time. Don't forget, UWP is the future platform for Windows and app development. Even if they were to get rid of it today, the only thing they would have to fall back on is Win32, and that's just not happening. So at Build, what do we expect? Well, there's 90 sessions focusing on UWP. That's to contrast with the four from Progressive Web Apps. That's actually a pretty impressive amount for PWA, and I expect Twitter to be there as well, highlighting their experience recently with their PWA app for Windows 10. For developers though, you'll get a lot more information about APIs, new designs, new templates, and new options for UWP. I also expect to hear more about Windows Centennial, that is the bridge to bring over Win32 apps. There are a lot of APIs that need to be converted to allow that system to work, and Microsoft should give us an update on its progress. 
Finally, there's cloud AI, IoT, and the intelligent edge. And why not throw quantum computing in there as well? These are what I call the more esoteric things about build. Some of them are hard to wrap your head around. Quantum computing is still kind of bizarre. It's not really a consumer-focused feature, of course, so the interest here won't be as, uh, well, as exciting. But quantum computing is the future, at least for a lot of the cloud stuff. Azure Cloud, all this is big money makers for Microsoft and its developers. So it's gonna be very interesting to see them talk about that. AI is still a huge focus for Microsoft and I expect them to talk a lot about that, bringing Cortana to more markets. Don't forget Cortana has a recent shakeup recently in its leadership. We should hear a little bit more about the focus there that's going on and what they're concentrating on. Cortana seems to be shifting away from a natural just sort of assistant to something that weaves deeper into Office, Outlook, and proactively reacts to things for meetings in your calendars and email. I'm sure they'll talk a little bit more about that stuff. That may not sound exciting, but this is the future of computing. It's the stuff that happens behind the scenes that's gonna be really interesting. All right, finally, I know you're wondering, what about hardware? Will Microsoft announce any new Surface devices? Traditionally speaking, Microsoft does not reveal new hardware at build. In fact, one of the last things I remember was a Lumia 630 and Lumia 635, and well, we all remember how Windows Phone went. So no, I do not expect new Surface stuff, even though I'd be super excited to see them get on stage and go, here's Andromeda, and reveal it all there. That would distract a lot from the focus of this conference, which is developers, it's APIs, it's stuff that if you're not a developer, you kind of find boring, but it's also the stuff that developers pay $2,000 to attend for. If they were to announce Andromeda, that's all people would talk about during the whole conference, it would overshadow all their other announcements. So there's a reason why Microsoft traditionally announces Surface devices at its own events, that is to keep the message separate, and I expect that to be here. However, I wouldn't be surprised if Microsoft maybe teases a little bit about something coming later on. That could always happen. So there's a quick list of the things we expect to happen at Microsoft Build. Now remember, pay attention to Windows Central as we'll be there live all week. We expect to do some live podcasting as well. And hopefully we'll get a few surprises. You leave me a comment below though and tell me what you expect and what you hope to see at Build. We'll see if it comes true. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.